Hi guys! Thank you so much for hanging out at this channel. I am really, really pulled to read on Miss Gypsy Rose Blanchard. Um, I haven't looked up her birthday in shoot. I just realized I should. But anyway, um, maybe I'll do that after. Um, I do believe that, like, there's no perfect victims and that this subject really does need to be handled with care. Um, but before I even get into that, I want to say thank you so much to my new subscribers who, who popped in. And I um, want to especially say thank you to the people who have stuck around. Um, it's been really tough for me to have the confidence to just even be on camera. Um, as a lot of you know, um, I had a partner who was very, very sick, and then he passed um, late October, and it's just kind of shaken, shaken me, um, and it's taken a lot of healing. Um, ooh, I can't even talk about it without crying, um, but if you stuck around, just thank you so much. Ah. This wasn't what I wanted to happen, but anyway, okay, <laughs> thank you, thank you for sticking around. Um, anyway, so I'm thinking about doing a collective reading too, um, but right now I just feel really pulled to read for Miss Gypsy Rose. Um, we were both named for, after like famous people, she was named after a famous burlesque dancer. <laughs> And I was named after um, two actresses from Little House on the Prairie, um, a very popular early 80s TV show. So, a little different, but, you know. And um, my heart goes out to her, but also I get the criticism that she receives. It's I'm not sure she should be a celebrity, but, man, the act was so good. My daughter liked it, too, and... Honestly, what she went through, most of us have, thankfully, will never, ever understand. You know, um, some of the procedures that she went through unnecessarily were things that I've seen, um, you know, people I love go through, and they're, they're, it's horrible. So, anyway, I just want to throw that caveat out there that I want to handle this with empathy. Um... Her personality is such that she's gotten so much attention, and some of it is explainable. Some of it may be, I don't know. I want to I wanna see what's really going on there with this love triangle. Um, but mostly, you know, my heart goes out to her um, because she is ultimate. She is a victim. But she's also a criminal. So that's why, like, it falls under this troop. She is a criminal. You know, she she did she did something wrong, and but um, when you're in a desperate situation, you know I don't know how any of us would handle that. So anyway, I want to see what's up with her. See how she's doing. If you can't take your eyes off this piece, um, I get a lot of compliments on it. Um, you can find she's a small. Crystal Maker. I don't know if she ships, but you can follow her on Instagram. She's called Rex Reps. R-E-X-W-R-A-P-S. Uh, you can look her up. I follow her. If you want to follow me on Instagram, I'm at Mama Fayotero LLC. You'll see my face. I've got the blue check mark and all that, so you know it's me. Um, so anyway, all right. Let's get into this Gypsy Rose reading. I'm going to start praying over these readings again, too. So, dear Father God, Mother Earth, Archangel Michael, please protect me um, on this one. Just because she's a complicated character, I want to treat her with respect and empathy, but I don't want to glorify her actions, so help me walk this delicate balance and help us get some insight into this interesting character who's about to have a lifetime show so she's not exactly a private person okay please forgive me god amen <laughs> i feel a little guilty so all right let's see it's a little sensational but oh, 
knowledge. Okay. So, um, she knows everything's about to come out. And as far as this love triangle thing goes, I mean, she knows she has, I feel like I'm pulled to say she knows she has a lot to learn. So if you don't know, Gypsy Rose, if you, you must know her story if you're watching this, but she also, oof, grief. Yeah, I think that she's acting out. Maybe she didn't get the chance in jail to really grieve what happened. She's being really mean to um, this Ryan guy. And I think she's probably projecting some pain onto him. Um, she's, I hope, and I, I do think she might be getting therapy now, which I really hope she is because just, I don't know what I'd do without it going through what I've been through with grief. Ooh, the chariot. All right. She's going to move forward with this, uh, this new guy. I haven't paid too, too much attention. I want to say his name is Jay or something. The, so he's not the new guy. Granted, it's her ex-boyfriend, ex-fiance from jail. I do know that. And then there's Ryan, the husband. She's absolutely moving forward with the divorce from Ryan. I can see that in already she she knows she wants to be with can we call him just other dude oh i'm the worst i didn't do any research for this <laughs> but other dude all right yeah but she knows she needs to slow down i'm glad she has some family around her now yeah and she has to be careful what she says because it looks like she's under some heavy contracts but I don't know. Her and, and the other guy, Jay, I want to say his name is Jay. Um, she'll probably stick around or they may be off and on this summer. Let me see, because I know where she's standing. She's definitely ending the marriage and moving on with this Jay guy. Where is he at? He's a, he's, he's a little young-minded. But... It, yeah, it looks like, oh, they got the sun and the moon, so, it looks like to me he made an impulsive action, yeah, it looks like they're going to stick together, her and this guy are definitely, even though he's a little more young-minded, so is she in a way, so, they might be a little more equally yoked than her and Ryan. Okay, so, ooh, itchy nose. Yeah, they seem equally yoked. And who's to say we shouldn't find people who are equally yoked <laughs> to each other? Isn't that the point? Yep. He's happy that he got her back. Um, they may feel like they really belong together, hence the matching tattoos. Now, granted, as a heavily tattooed person, I can now consider myself a heavily tattooed person. The only person I have a matching tattoo with is my daughter. And she's the only one I'll ever get a matching tattoo with because I just don't think it's a grand idea. But for now, at least through 2026, these two are going to stick together. Maybe 2027 at least. I don't even know. They may stick together forever. I'm just not one to try and call all that. Oh boy, Joy. Ryan. Oh, Ryan has met somebody else already. Okay. Uh, I do believe that he didn't want this to end with... Yeah, but he's, already, he's definitely dealing with the loss. Like, they're... Her and Ryan have done this. And there's not much else to say. This girl's going to keep moving forward. I'm pretty sure most of the um, attention is going to die down on this whole thing. Although when the Lifetime thing comes out, I think it will get attention. I'm just not sure it'll get like a ton of attention. I might watch it now that I've done this reading. But her and, and old dude, new dude, <laughs> uh, look like this. They're going to stick it out. Ooh, that's a lot. It's a lot, Gypsy Woes. She should calm down. 
she's, you know, I will say, whatever money she is going to end up all right. But honestly, if she didn't make any money off the Hulu thing, which I believe she should have, um, then she should, I believe she should have been compensated for the act. Hulu took her story. It was her life. A lot of people were compensated for that. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna dog a gal who's done her time for getting her back. <laughs> She's probably gonna stay young-minded for a while. She, the emotional equity, she's, you know, not at the same age as someone who has had the life experiences that most of us have had. I mean, I think for people to expect her to be mature and understand how to navigate social media and not act more like a teenager, I mean, I think, I don't know, I think you're the crazy one for having too high expectations of this girl, given everything, or woman, given everything that she's been through. But I say get the bag. Cal, get that bag. Yeah, and other dude is happy with it. And I hope that they grow together. Oh, death. And not that I think she should ever be... She needs lifelong therapy. I hope they both get it. I mean, and I'm not saying that in a, in a condescending way whatsoever. Anyone who has been through what she's been through would need help. Or maybe not even lifelong, but for a while, you know, um, because I think what she's been through fundamentally twisted up her brain. Now, granted, like the whole thing with the guy, with her boyfriend who actually did the act, um, as she calls it, and I'm, I just have to be careful about you two. I'd say all these things, but you know, guidelines. Um, yeah, I'm not the biggest fan of like how she's addressed that and definitely should invest some of this money in a PR coach or something, but I wonder if she's getting influenced a lot by Lifetime producers too, like the tattoos and the, the TMZ Connect and the, that kind of stuff, you know? Because... Yeah, this guy loves it, though. He likes it, and I do think that... I don't know. I think he gets a bit of an um, ego boost from, from all the attention. I'm not sure all of his intentions are entirely pure, but if she's happy with him, and... Yeah, I, don't, I don't know if they'll last forever, forever. And I think that this guy, I don't know. I don't know. I have my questions about it, but I don't fully trust it. And if I were her and she were getting a, like a reading with me, I would absolutely tell her, move real slow. Don't go marrying him right away. <laughs> Live with your family for a while. Don't put all your eggs in that basket. Get your bag. Make memories without him and with other people. Don't make him the end all be all. That would be my personal advice to her. Uh, I don't know, Ryan. I think most you're you're mostly okay. Sometimes I get the weird vibes from you, but he's probably going to want her back at some point. Jeez. But it's over between them. Oh, he may have gone back to an ex himself. He's a little young-minded himself. I don't know. Something about him throws me off. Something about all three of these people throw me off, clearly. You know, I think... When someone is in such a vulnerable place as Gypsy Rose has been in, you know, approaching her 
for a romantic relationship, even though that's what she wants. She's a grown adult. She's allowed to choose that. It, you should approach it with kid gloves, not, you know, so there's, I don't know. I think in his heart of hearts, Ryan knew what he was getting himself into. I hate to say that. But I do think that there's an energy here of Gypsy Rose being extremely self-centered because she's had to be. Not that I'm making excuses, just explanations. Um, I'm not, you know, I wouldn't... Yeah, I would like to interview Gypsy Rose. I'd like to talk to her just to see, you know, but I'd also like to see her grow. Yeah, I don't think she's going to end up with either one of these guys long term. And she should move really slowly. And I think this is going to be a... She's going to look back in the next three years at this situation and she may feel like, oh, what was I doing? Which I think shows growth. Yeah, she's going to be disappointed in when she looks back at this, but I really don't think we should all be judging her too, too harshly. I also don't think we should be giving her the attention we are, but she is interesting. She's smart. Um, but she should take things slow. Yeah, and she gets real defensive. She's, she's got, she definitely, definitely should go slow. Yeah, she may end up with somebody else. Um, but at the same time, I do think she will grow. She may end up investing some of her money in owning a business someday. Yeah, there's something off about this other guy. He may have other women in his life. Oh, the child's coming home. I gotta go. But, yeah, he's he may try and get her to marry. They might get married. Oh, no. No. That's why there's a tower here. She might marry him. No, go slower. Gypsy Rose, go slower. I don't know. I think he's going to try and one-up Ryan. And it, it's become more of a competition. And Ryan may fight for her. This may be getting kicked up. By the producers at Lifetime. Oh boy. Yeah, a lot of it's for the money. And the attention. So, I don't know guys. Sometimes I pay attention. It feels like a guilty pleasure. I just took 18 minutes of my life to do a reading. Uh, and if you took 18 minutes of your life to watch it, I appreciate you. Um, I think our... Interest in Gypsy Rose is, I think we should, we could learn so much from her and about the human condition and even her mom that I really do hope that she, and there's a chance she will become that advocate that she really wants to be. She has some living and experiences to go through and she might have to learn some things the hard way, but she's got smarts and, and she has the ability to grow and I will pray for all these people for growth and healing. And I love you so much for watching this. Thank you, thank you. Take care.